Hello everyone, my name is Hemingway Jones. Welcome to the channel. This is our little corner of the internet where we talk about fountain pens, inks, journals and journaling, and everything and anything that's going to keep you inspired. Today, we have a very special episode of the Hemingway Jones Pen Show. I hope you enjoy it. Objectophilia is when you form a romantic attachment to an inanimate object. But then, people fall in love with things all the time. With their cars, their boats, their homes. But is it possible to fall in love with a pen? It is. The Mont Blanc Meisterstück 149 it's the standard all other pens are judged against. It has a timeless design that for many is the essence of a fountain pen. If you could see the platonic ideal of a fountain pen, this would be it. Holding it is holding history and tradition in your hand. It is a pen that has signed treaties, correspondences, journal entries, statements of great import and consequence. What can a pen like this do for you? The Meisterstück line dates all the way back to 1924, a designation for their top-of-the-line pen. Meisterstück being German, of course, for masterpiece. The six-pointed Mont Blanc snow-cap glacier appeared even earlier in 1913 and is the hallmark of the brand. Since 1929, they have been engraving their nibs with 4810, the height in meters of Mont Blanc. So, over time, each element of the modern Mont Blanc fell into place, resulting in a pen that is the pinnacle of design and efficiency. The Mont Blanc as we know it was introduced in 1952. The one stands for Meisterstück, four for piston fill, and nine corresponds to the size of the nib according to some sources. Early models had celluloid components and split ebonite feeds, yet they were clearly recognizable as 149s. Versions from the 60s, 70s, and 80s were made of plastic and have an interesting vintage dull appearance. More modern versions are made of the proprietary precious resin this term has become a selling point in their line of pens and both means more and less than what is implied. It is most likely a direct translation from the German, but one is underselling it if you simply call it plastic. It may be more accurate to call it proprietary resin since many brands have their own recipes for the materials they use to make their pens using everything from organic materials to cotton to get different visual effects like shininess or color or depth or a different feel like the body of the pen retaining warmth and having less sweatiness in your hand. This is the effect of the Mont Blanc's design. You can hold it longer without the clamminess of other pens and there is a certain warmth transmitted between the material and the hand. 
Other features include a very efficient piston fill mechanism that unscrews from the back of the pen, making filling easy. It is in cleaning the pen that the efficiency of this filling mechanism is revealed, since it only takes three or four fills to flush the pen completely of whatever ink had been in it. The most important feature of this pen is the large, stunningly beautiful 18 karat gold nib. This is where the pen meets the paper in a dazzling array of gold embossed swirls. At the bottom of the nib is the Mont Blanc name in capital letters. Above is the company symbol. Each nib is marked with 4810, the height of Mont Blanc. The nib is responsive and expressive. Minute changes in pressure directly affect the line, making your handwriting interesting and intriguing. I had this pen on me when I proposed to my wife in Venice. When we got married at a quaint inn in Massachusetts, I had it with me when our daughter was born, and all those times visiting family in England, and at the Chateau Frontenac up in Quebec, it's always been with me. The Mont Blanc 149 will always be in my top five list of pens. It is impossible for me to separate sentiment and appreciation and neither do I want to. Am I in love with the Mont Blanc 149? Objectophilia indeed. So what do you think of the Mont Blanc 149? Do you love it as much as I do? Is it in your collection? Let me know in the comments. And also, if you could like, and if you've been watching my videos, please subscribe. I'd love to have you along on this journey with us. Thank you. I release new videos each Thursday at noon, so I will see you again very soon, further up the road. Take care.